This is Project 29 of Hacking with Swift. And this game project will be instantly recognizable to anyone over the age of about 35 or so. It was the classic way to waste time during computer classes at school. The game is called Gorillas, and it first shipped with an old text-based operating system called MS-DOS way back in 1991. Of course, we're going to remake it using SpriteKit, but at the same time we'll learn about some new things. How to make colors from hues, texture atlases, scene transitions, mixing UI kit with SpriteKit, and destructible terrain. You'll also get a recap on the core graphics techniques from Project 27. Now, destructible terrain means terrain that can be destroyed, which is a key part of Gorillas. For folks who've never played it before, it pits two players against each other, both standing in high rise buildings and both flinging exploding bananas at each other using physics. Realistic, right? Well, no, but it's certainly fun. This is a big project with lots to learn, so let's go straight to Xcode. Choose Create New Xcode Project. Select iOS, then Game, then press Next. Call this thing Project 29, then press Next, and create your desktop. Now make it support only iPad. And the orientation we're going to use, get rid of a portrait and upside down, leaving just landscape orientations. Then we're going to go ahead and clear up our code. So delete actions SKS, move to trash, go into game team SKS, scrap hello world, change the size to be width 1024, height 768. Then the anchor point will do 0, 0, bottom left corner. And then in game team .swift, we'll scrap gameplay kit, scrap these two properties, and get rid of everything that is not just did move to view like that, leave an empty method there. Now please go ahead and download the files for this project. They're on GitHub at github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. But for now, please don't copy any of its files into your project. I have them here on my desktop already. Inside hacking with Swift, project 29 files, content. But I'll leave them there for the time being.